This is a demonstration video showing how an attacker can spoof a victim's identity to fraudulently send messages. Here, we have an access point run by an attacker. We see our victim's device and our victim's friend's device. The victim connects to the attacker's malicious access point, and immediately after connecting to the internet, we see the RCS client tries to find the PCSCF and connects to the RCS core. The connection is over TLS, so unfortunately we don't see the content of the messages. But what we can see is to which PCSCF the victim is connected, which IP address and which port. Here, we monitor an existing conversation between the victim and the victim's friend. Once we have the IP address of the PCSCF and the port number, we have a tool that collects the call recipient's phone number, call dialer's phone number, target PCSCF IP address, port number, and any arbitrary messages it sends via SIP invite. Here we see the RCS accepted our SIP invite messages and delivered that message to the victim's friend because the attacker and the victim both have the same public IP address. The RCS core could not differentiate between a legitimate message from a user and a malicious message from an attacker.